The GFSA Seg Lock 2 Quick Opening Closure. For safe and easy access to process pressure vessels. Designed to suit vertical or horizontal positions. In size ranging from 6 inch nominal bore up to 48 inch nominal bore and to be opened by one operator in less than two minutes without any special tools. Special features include a segmental locking mechanism, secondary safety latch mechanism, self-energizing seals, and a fully supported adjustable door, complete with davit arm and lifting mechanism. Designed to meet the requirements of PD5500 and ASME 8 Division 1, and available for pressures up to 425 bar in a range of compatible materials. Before attempting to open any closure door, it is essential that the vessel and adjoining process lines are depressurized, and that the vessel and pipeline are drained of processed gas or liquid, and purged if necessary. Once all safety precautions have been taken to ensure that any residual pressure is vented, then the closure door may be opened. Opening and closing instructions are detailed on the stainless steel nameplate attached to each closure hub. To open, the vent plug must be removed by turning anti-clockwise using the supplied operating lever. The vent plug is mechanically integrated with the closure door segmental locks so that the closure cannot be opened until it is fully removed. Should there be any unexpected residual pressure within the vessel, then this will be slowly released through the vent slot located within the screw thread. With the vent plug removed, the closure locking segments can now be retracted inwards from the closure hub by inserting the operating lever into the upper location hole of the handle post and turning the operating lever anti-clockwise to the bottom stop block. With the locking segments retracted from the hub recess, the door is now unlocked, but the secondary latch is still fully engaged. In the unlikely event that any residual pressure still remains, the door will move upwards, but only as far as the secondary latch allows. So, although the closure seal is no longer intact, the door will still be retained within the closure hub. If at this stage there remains any trace of residual pressure within the vessel, and this will be safely released around the periphery of the door. The operating lever can now be removed from the upper location hole of the handle post, placed into the lower hole and rotated further to allow the secondary latch mechanism to be disengaged. The closure door may now be lifted safely using the screw jack lifting mechanism, which forms part of the davit arm arrangement. When the door is lifted clear of the hub, the davit post screw clamp can be released and the door can be swung clear, allowing full access to the vessel internals. Before closing, all sealing and machined faces should be checked and be clean and free of any defects. Drainage holes in the closure hub should be clear and free from blockage. The locking segments must be fully retracted and within the door area. The vent plug seal should be checked and be free of any defects. To close, swing and manoeuvre the door back and position centrally within the closure hub. Lower the door into the hub using the integral screw jack mechanism. With the door lowered in place, locate the operating lever into the lower location hole of the handle post and turn clockwise. This action will re-engage the secondary latch safety mechanism. To re-engage the locking segment and fully close the closure door, remove the operating lever from the lower location hole of the handle post and relocate into the upper location hole of the handle post and turn clockwise. With the closure door in the closed and locked position, refit the vent plug and then tighten the davit arm screw clamp. The GFSA Seg Lock 2 Quick Opening Closure providing safe and easy access to process pressure vessels.